Welcome and thank you for watching this training video on the immunization section of the MTBC EHR. The immunization tab allows you to document immunizations or vaccinations for your patients. When you first open up the immunization tab, there are two possible layouts that you might view. The current layout that we're on is the standard immunization layout. You can switch to the new immunization layout by clicking on switch to new layout. The new immunization layout is a graphical view of immunization schedules for patients. Considering that this patient is almost four years old, we can scroll down and see the pending immunizations. The ones that are in yellow are recommended immunizations that should have been complete for that patient at that time. This immunization schedule is based on the American Academy of Pediatrics recommendations. For patients who are newborns, if you begin documenting immunizations for those patients at the required times, these recommended boxes would be filled in with the appropriate completed immunization. Mark the box as completed by double clicking to document that immunization. We can expand this window to full screen to better get a graphical idea of this patient's immunizations. If we return back to the old layout, we can also use this row to document immunizations. Simply pull down the immunization name category and select the immunization of your choice. You can document things like the units, the immunization type, as well as the route and site for that immunization. Entering things like lot number and manufacturer is also possible using these fields. To access the vaccine information sheets that you should provide to the patients at the time of the vaccination, click on Vaccine Information Sheets. This will open the CDC website where you can download the most recent updated vaccine information sheets. Additionally, you can document in the EMR that you've provided this vaccine information sheet simply by clicking the information sheet box. If a vaccine was not performed because it was refused by the parents, you can simply mark it not performed and then describe the reason why it was not performed in the not performed box. We can also automate your submission of vaccines to your local immunization registry. Contact the MTBC Technical Support to learn how we can set up your immunization registry submissions. Using this selector at the top of the screen, you can see which immunizations have been submitted to the local immunization registry and which ones have not been submitted. Again, contact the MTBC Technical Support to set up your local submission for immunization registries. You can use this Format Grid button on the right-hand side of the screen to customize your layout for this immunization menu. If you'd like to bring the lot number higher up or closer to the front of this grid, simply click the Modify button, select Lot Number, and then use the up and down arrow to move lot number higher on your screen. Let's go ahead and put lot number right before Units. When we're done, we can click Save and reopen the screen. Now we can see that lot number appears directly before units. Do you have any questions about the training video that you just watched? Give our technical support a call. The call is free, and technical support is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thank you.